Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube Marketing Channel. I'm your host, Marlon, and today we want to check out how you guys can check your overall watch time for your YouTube channel. This can go for the overall channel, like a state, or it can go for individual video. So the same thing applies either way. So watch time or audience retention is a popular thing on YouTube, and that will check the amount of time that a particular viewer might view your video. So if your video may be in a minute long and they may watch maybe said probably 30 seconds of that one, then obviously you accumulate 30 seconds of watch time. If the video is in between three minutes um, or so, then and then maybe watch it two minutes from three minutes, obviously you, you accumulate um, two minutes video watch time. So the best way you guys can, I mean, there are sweet spots for whatever video you're making depending also on your niche. So anything between um, seven to 10 minutes is a good sweet spot for those who are making shorter content. For those maybe in different niches, for example, maybe in fitness, so you wanna do a half on a workout, that gonna be various. If something like you, you may be playing games, that also may be various because you can look and see maybe gamers can go on for maybe an hour or so playing games. So definitely watch time would definitely be different in that aspect. If it may be just a tutorial like what I'm doing right now, so that can fall in between three to five minutes long. And then that's where you can have a sweet spot. And if I can get viewers to watch me pretty much three, three minutes of that, and obviously it'd be good for me over a period of time. So that's important for you guys to nail the type of video in terms of length. As you can see here, I got videos between six minutes, three minutes, um, 12 minutes and 14 minutes, four again, four. So you can see the time um, on these videos quite varies. Um, I have nothing over 20 minutes long, even though there are video I can make for that, but as you can see, the maximum you can see so far is video around 14 minutes long. So we're gonna click and uh, my avatar, and then you're gonna go over to your YouTube studio. And from the back end, you can get access pretty much to all of your data, or you see analytics for your channel. So you're gonna click and analytics, which is um, right here. And as a disclaimer, I haven't made much video from the, the, the COVID. So that's pretty much about six months worth of not uh, making any videos and stuff like that. But as, as you can see here, my views still keep growing and um, my watch time tonk, as you can see here, 44.3% less than what I normally received. You can see also my subscriber per month also tank as well. So, but overall, it still keep going. So it's for me to keep making videos again. So what we're looking at here is the watch time. So if we can see here, that's 615.7 hours of watch time. So if you go and you wanna do, this is for the last 28 days. If you wanna see the entire year or you wanna go for the lifetime of your channel, I don't know how old your channel may be. So let's say you wanna go for, you know, 365 days, you can go for that, 90 days, 28 days, which by default, that's why you, your channel would be set on. So for lifetime for me, I'll click on that one. So as I can see in my lifetime watch time um, here is almost 60,000 hours worth of watch time. And as you can see, I amass over, almost coming up to two and a half million um, views. And as you can see, I'm up to almost um, close to 9,000 subscribers coming up as well. And obviously they show you how much I've made um, so far in pounds. I mean, for that in US dollars, you might be looking at over, I don't know. Yeah, so the conversion for this into US dollars, you're looking at maybe 4,000 something plus. Um, that's what I've received in terms of just for ads revenue only. I mean, that's not taking consideration in terms of um, affiliate marketing, which I have earned as well. So that's how easy it is for you guys to come in and check your lifetime overall watch time of your channel. If you're maybe looking to do individual videos, that gonna be um, quite similar. But for example, you go to your content, which is gonna be the videos. So let's say if I, for example, this video here, and then I might come back over into analytics over here. And this should give me the overall, I guess this is quite a recent video. So let me see. So the overall, you can see for this video here, the example is 1.4 hours. And so that's three minutes um, video. So like I said, and I think this video is just over, I think um, maybe a month older or something like that. So that's the accumulation of that one as a individual video. So you can go through and you can check individual videos with yours, whether it be um, a case study that you wanna perform from individual videos. You can just go inside here and select individual videos and then you can see the individual watch time. You can, like I said, you go back in terms of the overall watch time for the channel, 
you can just click in that one go here and then you change from 28 days and then you can either have um, 365 or you can have the lifetime of your channel so that's how simple and easy it is for you guys to check out um, your watch time whether it be for the channel or for individual video that's how you do it so so thank you very much guys for watching please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos and youtube marketing um, whether it be youtube marketing or Instagram, Facebook, you name it. I do all of the social media marketing here on my channel. So thank you very much for watching and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you.